How's it going? We're back again. Um, as you saw, we created Holland Days earlier. What, what I'm going to do now is going to demonstrate how to prepare a nice piece of eye fillet steak. Eye fillet is quite expensive, so you don't want to fuck this up. Um, it's you know you can purchase it from any good um, butcher or New World or Food Town. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it. Open it. I'm going to drain it right here. Yeah. That's an eye fillet right there, okay? This is the chain, that's the fillet. There's different names for it, I won't get into that. It's two culinary for you fellas. But what I'm gonna do now is I'll put on a piece of, uh, piece of um, tea towel. I'm drying it, reason being, because when I uh, prepare it and desinue it, I want to be able to do it without it sliding everywhere. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. What you need is a, a good knife, uh, preferably uh, a filleting knife. Um, this one you can buy for five bucks from New World. And all we're going to do is we're going to insert it at the top. Because the, the trick with this is that you don't want to um, um, dig too deep into the to the flesh. Because what that does is, um, you know, you, you pay premium dollar for it. You don't want to waste it. So what we're going to do is this. Put it under so you're only getting the, the sinew. And you're going to drag it across. And then you're going to hold it like this, pull it, pull it so it's tight, and then you're just going to run your, your knife across the top. And all you're getting is a sinew. Ooh, the meat there, but it doesn't matter. And the more practice you get at it, the faster and the better you are. So all you do is keep doing that until you're desinued it. Because what happens, um, if you leave this on, it's quite tough, and you, the, the cooking process is quite hard. I'm going to just turn this around, makes it easier, so you can just get rid of just a little bit of sinew on the top. These type of stuff here, you get rid of it as well, it's the marbling, it's what makes the, or gives a bit of moisture to the steak. And what I'm going to do, rather than cut into that and get rid of this, this a little bit, I'm not going to go too deep, I think because I want to keep the fillet hole, and I'm just going to get rid of what I can there, so it just takes a bit of practice get under there, sharper the knife the better and try to not kill it so to speak here we go, getting in there and basically what you're left with is a nice piece of fillet, so that's pretty much ready to prepare um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to teach you how to roll it and the reason I roll it, I'm going to just Pat it down, pat it dry. The reason I'm going to roll it is because when it comes to portioning, it holds shape, and you can get a, a perfect, um, a perfect steak out of it, and it's a, a better portion size. I'm going to leave that on there, and because that's going to add to the fat, and I like a little bit of fat on my um, my fillet. Over here, I have a bit of a batter, and all I'm going to do. place your steak on it, your fillet, and you're going to hold it tight, wrap that around you, pull it tight, and start rolling. I want to roll on this angle, because I want a bit of hang, yeah? And you want to pull, roll, pull, roll, yeah? What that does is it starts to take shape. So you've got a bit of hang there, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back the other way again. Sorry, it's a bit of mess here, because this is a domestic kitchen. It's not industrial. So you can do this at home, on a bench or whatever. And just keep rolling, and what you're doing is you're helping form shape here. The lad wrap is a great way to shape things. So what we're going to do, bring it here, so let's get this side. Always be safe in the kitchen, you can cut yourself. <laughs> and don't waste glad right by that, yeah. And when to go back this way, yep. Yeah. What I've trained chefs to do um, will help get their portion try the sizes right for, uh, for for service. So what we're gonna do is once we get the edge there, pretty much got the right shape. Get rid of the glad right here. 
this here. Cool. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to twist and turn so you get that action happening there. Yeah? And on the other side, the same thing. Twist and turn. And what we're going to do is start rolling like this. Holding, twisting and turning. And what happens here is you're going to get a better shape. As you can see, if I was to portion that, you're going to get a lot more even size. So what we're going to do, once this is nice and tight, which is not too far off, I'm going to put that, and that's going to go inside a fridge. And it's best to let it rest for, you know, sit in the fridge for a couple of hours, um, and then you can portion it, and what will happen is that it will hold its shape better. I'll show you how to cook it next, please.